Welcome back, guys. Yeah, I, I tell you one thing before we go any further. God, I hope the guys at 11-Bit Studios, the developers, are like already working on DLCs because we want more scenarios. We want more and more and more of this. I tell you what, everything they release for Frostpunk, I'm going to freaking play. I am loving this. Right, let's get back. Oh, by the way, in the last episode, apparently, <laughs> judging by your comments, um, I went to the research outpost and then I forgot to actually explore it. Um, I, I was deliberate. I was. I was just. I was just doing it to to tease you. Are, you. are you buying that? No. Okay. Let's move on. Right. Well, what are we going to do first? Well, oh, uh, now I've got. To, I've got to show you because before I started the episode, I thought I'll, I'll have a quick look at the, the the technology and see kind of what we can do and whatever. And look, I've got the, I've got the tears back. Now I'm like I don't know if that's linked to this fifteen days thing. Or whether, I don't know, was it, could it have been bugged out? I don't, I'm loath to say that because I don't think I've encountered any bugs in this game so far. So I'm kind of loath to think that it is. But I don't know, maybe it's tied to this 15 days, I don't know. But the point is, we can go further down the tech tree now, which I think is a really freaking good idea. Um, so we're doing this generator range 1 upgrade, which to be honest, I, I'm almost kind of regretting that I did that. Yeah, yeah, I guess, well, it is what it is. Um, they're getting there in an hour. They're getting there in a couple of hours. So let's, well, let's just crack on, shall we? Let's just crack on. So they're almost to where they're going. I've no idea where, where they're going, but they're going somewhere. And boom. The Lone Boulder. Explore. Oh, it's a landmark. Oh, man. Okay, look. They've got three cores. Ah, uh, pfft. How long to the 14 hours to get there? Eight hours to the rock formation. How long to get back to the city? 16 hours. I mean, those three cores. Oh man. I I think we go back and drop them off. Oh, that's. So I lose 32 hours. It's like a day and a half to go back and drop them off and come out. But I get three cores. And I need cores right now. Oh man, uh, do I do like one more? It's only eight hours to the rock formation. Go on, we'll go on, we'll go to the rock formation. Right, next. Uh, next going to be the, the other group of scouts. So, go on, go on, let's get you done. Uh, the supply depot. I'm going to actually explore this one this time. <laughs> Just for a change. Wood, ah, oh, wood and raw food. A hidden stash. We found several heavy chests. Blah blah blah. 164 wood, 46 food. Nice. Now, do I go back to the research outpost? Oh, blooming coal and steam cores as well. Steam lorry. Oh man, that's freaking annoying. Well, God, it needs to be done. I mean, it's really frustrating, but it needs to be done. Go on. How long to get back there? Oh, it's only 12 hours, it's not too bad. Go on, go back. You lemon. <laughs> you complete idiot. Oh dear. Makes it fun though, doesn't it, eh? Right, so, well, kind of, in a way, ish. Um, can't do anything with that. Okay, this, this technology is almost done. Let's get this technology done. Boom. Generator range upgrade done. Okay, I think at this point, I looked at this, which I kind of hadn't looked at, and Allows us to, 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 to <laughs> if I can speak, allows us to deploy automaton, automaton scouts and raises the scout limit by one. So it's also more scouts. So I think we should get that. Like, unless there's something that we kind of desperately need. I am thinking that the cookhouse insulation would be a good plan. Uh, how long till we until it's brass monkeys. Oh, it's ages. Oh, it's freaking ages away. Well, don't worry. In fact, it gets it gets warmer soon, so don't worry about it. Yeah, 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 let's do it. Well, um, we want, let's do the, not heating, exploration. Automaton scouts, do it. Right, go. 
Uh, I think we can kind of blast through this now. That this is going to be the next thing, isn't it? Ooh, it's a race between the technology and these guys. Oh, we've got something going on. What's going on up here? Stuck automaton. Oh man, this is going to happen from time to time, isn't it? Okay, shut down the sawmill. Pause. Or unpause, actually. Uh, keep, let's keep going and get this. But actually, pause for a second. I want to look at the construction. So, where are we up to? We can do steam sawmills and we can do steam seal, um, steam steel works. We could certainly do with the next level of coal mines, really. Um, boom, 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 boom. And I'm, th I'm seriously thinking that we're probably we might even try out the old kilns in this run through. I don't know. How are you doing? You still got yeah, you still got a fair amount, five hundred wood to get through. How are you doing up at this end? Oh, you've only got twelve wood there. So devastated by an automaton. Uh, can I knock it down? Oh, I can. All right, we'll knock the building down while while we can't use it, and we'll build a we'll build another one a bit further up. Does that sound like a plan? That sounds like a plan, doesn't it? I'm not saying it is a plan, I'm just saying it sounds like a plan. Okay, we've done automaton scouts. So let's see. Where's the beacon? So now, we can create more scouts. So, um, shall I nick some engineers? Yeah. Let's nick some engineers out of there. Go back to the old beacon. Okay, um, yeah, create a new scout. Oh, cool. So you're going to go up there, and I think probably then down there. So you, let's get you to come out to the industrial ruins. Yeah, you, not you lot. Yeah, come out to the industrial ruins. One day and, God, one day and 17 hours. Oh, what about the snowboard? One day and 21 hours. Good Lord. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do next with the, with the research. I'm going to go for the difference engine. 125. Yes, I can afford to do it. Upgrade. I'm going to go for the boosted sleds. That's like as fast as possible. Right, the rock formation. We are there. A distinct spot. We can use it as a waypoint. Oh, man. So there's still nothing there. Carry on. But we've got more places to it. Ruined warehouse. Let's go and check that out. Well, how much have you got? You've hardly got any stuff yet. Yeah, go to the ruined warehouse. See what we can grab from there. And go back to the city. Right. Research. More research. We'll come up to the end of the day. Oh, oh, what's going on now? Oh, oh, look at this bloke. He's, he's passed out. Oh, you were so close. New Manchester, a cry for help. Sir, an, an exhausted man has just reached our city, badly frostbitten and with a harrowing story to tell. He says he's come from a nearby city called New Manchester. It's inhabited mostly by workers and their families, but their resources are running out and they're in trouble. Fearing the coming storm, they sent a scout team to look for help. He's the sole survivor. He begs us to help his pet. Oh, man. We must find out more. Well, I suppose we must find out more. Expedition camp discovered. What's going on up here? Survivors reach the city. Sir, a group of survivors has reached our city. They're tired. They'll need a place to rest, a bite to eat, and perhaps some medical attention. But they're ready to lend a, a hand however they can. I see. So, I've been conned. <laughs> oh, man. Saving the messenger. Captain, the man who arrived from New, New Manchester is in critical condition. If he doesn't get help right away, he'll die. He could be our only chance to learn more about the other city. Well, let's hope we can save him. Okay, so... Well, we've got place in our... Um, in our hospitals. Um, scout the Frostland and find New Manchester before the storm. Okay. Expedition camps discovered. Oh, well, it's only there. It's not very far away. I'm, I'm, I'm almost tempted to tell you to turn around and go over there, but 
this one's going to be coming back fairly soon, so yeah, I will. We'll manage. They can wait. <laughs> They're not going anywhere. So, uh, what the hell next? Get this blooming technology done. Oh, uh, what are you waiting for? Oh, we're there. Oh, shall I just walk away without exploring again? No, let's explore it this time. So, what do we got? Oh, three steam cores and 170 coal, which isn't bad. The people who worked here were pioneers. Groups like this paved the way for those of us who dared to make the journey north. It looks like they left in a hurry, presumably to reunite, reunite with their families before the great winter took hold. Hopefully they succeeded. Thousands of thousands like them succumbed to the cold, to cold and hunger while fighting to build the generators. Oh man. All honor to the, to the pioneers. Right, should we go, I guess we go steam lorry and then back to there, so. Steam lorry's a day, a day and eight hours. God, it's further to go over there than it is to go back to the blooming city. Okay, it's kind of a weird triangle. Um, see, the thing is, I've got cores. Go on, we'll, we'll go to the steam lorry, I suppose. I want to get back and deliver these blooming cores. Right, keep going, keep going. We're okay on wood and steel, pretty much. Um, what's the, how's the cars? We've got about 14 hours worth of coal. Um, it's minus 60. It's about to drop. How's our consumption? Wow. <laughs> our consumption's not good. Um, yeah, we need the next level for sure. Helping at what cost? We can't abandon people in need. I won't endanger our mission. Okay. I believe you. Um... Discontent will rise, or hope will fall. So, some of our people are restless. They argue that with the storm closing in, we won't be able to succeed in our mission and help New Manchester at the same time. They understand it's a difficult decision, but they want to know what your priority will be when we have to choose. We can't abandon people in need. I won't endanger our mission. Hope will fall. Well, hope is really, really high at the moment, so... I won't endanger our mission. Yeah, it's only a little. It's only a little bit. It's fine. Okay. Um, slightly concerned about the coal situation. Um, let's see. Oh, it's freaking cold as well. Um, you know what? Seeing as it's just a couple of hours, let's just bang the overdrive on for a bit go. There we go, everything's nice and warm. It's fine. So let's blast through to the morning. Oh, these guys are just about to arrive. Boom. The ruined warehouse. Please let there be some cool stuff. Wood and raw food. Take the resources. And then I guess we're... What you, how much have you got now? Uh, 100 coal, 100 wood, 100... Uh, yeah, okay. Expedition camp. Let's go to the discarded equipment. Go. And what do I want to do? Now? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm getting through to the to the temperature going up again. Does it go up two levels? Yeah, it goes up two levels. Good. Ooh, coal's getting low. Slow down. Any particular reason? No, not really. Keep going. And seven o'clock. Boom. Temperature starts to drop. Oops. You know when I say temperature starts to drop, when actually the temperature is rising, in my own mind I'm thinking it's, it's dropping back towards zero. That's why I keep saying that. And I know it's confusing. Well, it, but it shouldn't be. You know what I mean. You can see the blooming temperature going up and down, so you know what's happening. So. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. It's just me. Come on, get you, you must be used to it by now, for heaven's sake. Right, so we can drop the temperature down. So let's knock that down. We'll knock off overdrive. And um, we should be able to turn these off, shouldn't we? And that one. And where's the other one? And that one. And let's... 
let's run that on just a little bit and see what happens. So, okay, so that's all fine. Um, is there another? Did I? There's another heater in here somewhere, isn't there? Is there another heater? Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. That's chilly, though. Hang on, why is that chilly? And these are oh, because that's the one that I got the people out of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's inoperative. Okay, that's fine then. I think we can. I think we can live with that. Um, has that still got people in? It hasn't. It's got, it's got an automaton in. Yes, can turn that off. Cool. Right now, what's our coal consumption? Hooray! We're making a profit again. Good. Overdrive's off. Keep going. Gonna get the technology done. Ching! Different engine researched. Hooray! Okay. Um, now I could do additional scouts. Could do prototyping and go for the boosted scout sleds. And I'm thinking that the whole exploration is maybe the key to this. Um, there's nothing we desperately need in there, although I would like to get like the steam coal mine done. But you know what? Like, Once we start bringing back loads of cores, we can get loads of automatons and build loads of stuff and, and nothing will be a problem. But So yeah, I, you know what? I'm going to go for automatic prototyping, I think. 150 and 100. Yeah, we can afford it. Boom, do it. Go. We're just about to get a new book of laws. No idea what we're going to get here. Okay, I did the did the care house, didn't I? Oh, so now we can do prosthetics. Hell yeah. Which means... Uh, oh, and I've got five people sitting around in here doing nothing. I could have had them doing something. Oh, bonehead. Well, for now... Um, build, no. Build me, build me a prosthesis. Oh, no. Yeah, build me a prosthesis. Ten steel. Yeah, I think we can afford that. So you do that. You know what, let's, let's, let's let them build that. And then I'm going to get them out of there. I'm going to get them... Go, go in that gathering post and make me some blooming... Give me some more coal. Oh, uh, no. Um... No, research. Research for the win, I think. Go and do some more research. Yeah, that's a better plan. Yeah, go. Hooray. Uh, what was that? I just heard a noise that sounded like something just happened. What just happened? Uh, wasn't them. I was kind of expecting to see a little a little notification down here, but I don't see one. We oh we've got um a spare and we've got an idle automaton. Oh yeah, it's this one, isn't it? Because I was going to move. Uh, all right, that's it. Let's get. I was going I was going to build a steam sawmill up here. Uh, well, that covers everything. Up oh, there, boom there. So one steam sawmill going in. With that going up there. What do I need? I need coal and I need food. That's what I need. I didn't mean to zoom that far out. Uh, this uh, is this a this is a steam sawmill, is it? Or is it a re no? It's a regular sawmill. Well, let's replace it with a steam sawmill, shall we? Would make sense. Boom. Let's put it in. Uh, how much? Oh, I can't see how much I've got left. Yeah, I, see, I'm looking at that and thinking, you know what? Well, I don't know. There's a fair amount in range. We'll just knock it down and move it when it's got everything done. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Right, go. Uh, these guys are about to arrive. Oh, what's this? A note of thanks. Someone has left a note of thanks at the care house. It reads, thank you. With all the work we have to do, it's so hard for families to properly care for an invalid. Places like this make life a little easier for us all. Ah, how nice. And hope will raise slightly. Is it nice when people take the time? And that's the sort of thing Nanny Giggles would do. She's very, she's she's very kind like that. She like, like always leaving thank you notes and stuff. I was going to say something harsh then. I stopped myself. <laughs> harsh. Um, scouts have reached the discarded equipment. 
It's all been kicking off on Twitter, by the way. <laughs> There's all kinds of uh, memes and all kinds of stuff going on. Oh, dear, we're having a bit of a laugh. Right. Um, steam cores and steel. Like, where the hell is this? I don't even know. Um, it's you lot. Where are you lot? Oh, over here. Oh, steam cores and steel. This is what we want. Devastated machines. This gear must have belonged to prospectors or explorers who came here before us. We dug through heaps of twist uh, of metal, twisted. Shouldn't that be twisted metal? Through heaps of twisted metal that was crushed by the moving ice. Much of it, much of it, much of it. <laughs> much of it is beyond repair, but we can still scavenge some useful resources from it. Yeah, nick it all. This game is basically about thieving, isn't it? It really is. It's just like, go out, steal as much stuff as you can get. Now, these guys are coming out here. They can go to there. And they could go to there as well, really. Like, the only thing is, like, do they have to go round, or can they just go, like, cut straight? I think they can cut straight across, can't they? I don't see any reason why they can't. Right, you lot. Do, see, do I send them over there? Or, now they've got, they've got three, they've only got three cores. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the first lot of cores they've picked up, isn't it? D uh, do I send them just like straight back? Or I could send them to expedition camp first. It's just a small camp, just a few tents. There's no signs of activity. Now, nah, you know what? I'm going to go back to the Blooming City. It's 24 hours. Yeah, go. Go, get yourself back there. We need those freaking cores. Um, you got 14 hours till you arrive. Go. Right, we're just about to get to tier 5. Sweet! So, tier 5 gives us boosted scout sleds. And the potential to get additional scouts as well. So you can have a fourth team out there if we wanted to. So, start. Because that's going to get our guys back faster and everything's suddenly going to go faster. So, um, we've got... Drops one level, drops one level, ooh, 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 okay. But that's only going to get us back to minus 60, and we know we can deal with that, so... Yeah, I mean, apart from the fact that we'll be a bit short of coal, potentially. I need those blue... Well, the thing is, this will get me those cores back fast. Yeah, this is what we need to do. Yeah, go. Get this researched. Will we get it done today? No, not quite. But we'll get it done tomorrow. Oh, we're working hard. So we've got like six cores on the way back. Yeah, three there and... Th oh no, nine cores on the way back. Awesome. Okay. Go, 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 go. Scouts have reached the steam lorry. Oh, more steam cores! The generators were built thanks to steam lorries like these and their ability to haul cargo over the frozen landscape. It's a shame it can't be repaired. The resources we've managed to tree from it are priceless. Yes, they are. 126 steel, three steam cores. Hell yeah. That's a lot of resources. 99 food as well. Wouldn't go amiss. Right, it's time to get back. Oh, what the hell's... Oh, that, my God, that's frozen. Now? Oh, the steam's mo the, the the storms the steam <laughs> the storms moving in. Go, get back, move your asses. Oh yeah, yeah. I wonder if there's like I wonder how much more there is to research out here or oh, ex not research explore. I don't know. Right, we're coming up to six o'clock in the morning, so the research starts. Uh, they're about to arrive. Scouts have reached the industrial ruins, coal and steel. This building was destroyed by a powerful avalanche. Its interiors are filled with snow, but we should be able to retrieve some resources. Boom. We discover a bounty of resources as we dig through the snow. Sadly, that's not all we find. An avalanche killed everyone that worked here. Their corpses have been frozen solid. The relatively light clothes and the insignia of Her Majesty's Prospector Corps suggest that they were explorers sent north to look for suitable places for generators during the onset of the Great Winter. Winter, Maybe it's for the best that they weren't there to witness the fall of the Empire. Oh, sad. Coal and steel. Not a bad thing. So, we want to send you up to the snowbound Dreadnought now. Yeah, you can go straight across there. 16 hours. Okay. Five hours till we get those cores back. 
Look at that, nine cores. We're going back in nine hours. My God, we're going to have more cores than we know what to do with. We'll be able to start our own pop band. <laughs> I finally found a cause joke. I knew I'd do it eventually if I put my mind to it. Right, uh, we've done the boost he says. Look at this. They're back in three hours now. Oh, we'll be able to fly around now. Right, what the hell do I want to do next? Um, I think... I'm going to hold off on the additional scouts till I see like kind of more of what I need to do out there. I don't need... To. Now, I could do some automaton integration. What's the redesign? Ooh, that makes them a lot cheaper. Uh, that would be the sensible thing, wouldn't it? Can I... Well, the thing is, if I do that, can I get that finished today? Yes, I can. Okay, do it. Do that. Yeah... Um, although they're bringing back loads of wood and stuff, so... Okay, so we've got that, which means that we've now got food. We could do with some more storage for rations. Let's get that going. How many rations do I need? I only need, like, 500. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be a problem. <laughs> we've got 12 days to do it in. 8,000 coal. Well, that's not a problem. We can bang coal out pretty quickly. Um... Okay, I've got three cores now. So, let's see. What do I want? Um, like, do I... Hmm. Yeah, go on. Let's, let's get... Yeah, let's get... Uh, now, I should wait until I've finished researching this, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should. I should. I should put in some more storage, I guess. Let's put in some more storage. I don't think resources is going to be... Not a gathering post, you bonehead. Uh, here we go. Let's bang in one. That is not lined up with that blooming road. Let's try that again. Let's extend that road out. There we go. Then we'll put in a couple of resources. There we go. One and... Two. We've got loads of freaking steel now. Um, I've got to do the five houses, haven't I? But we've got loads and loads of time to do that. So, oh, I didn't, I didn't tell this guy to get in there. Ha, I built it, didn't tell him to go and man it. <laughs> what a lunatic. Okay, well, so that's going to double our wood income. So that's kind of a good thing. Right, you, now that you're here, go off to the expedition camp. Go on. See what you can do out there. Right, these guys are bringing nine freaking cores back. So, we definitely want some automatons built. So let's get, I don't know, let's get let's get a couple queued up. Uh, it's midday. I need some people to work in here. Um, I suppose, let's see, let's, uh, let's whip these guys out of here. For, for, for now. Stick them in the factory. And go. And what I'm going to do is the first one that gets built, like if they ever start, long hours of toil. I will not address that right now. No. I want them working. Um, yeah, why aren't, you, why aren't you guys there? Guys build. The hell? Scouts number two have returned. Great, that's another hundred uh, raw food. Um, we're almost full on steel. Why aren't these guys at this factory? Absent reasons going to build. What are they going to build? Oh, they're building this rubbish over here, I guess. Um, let's put a road around the back, I suppose. Okay, go. So we've got to get this German thing built. Okay, we've done the automaton redesign, which I guess will save us some resources now. Uh, the next thing I want is steam coal mines. Yep, go. Boom. Because that is going to massively increase the amount of coal we produce, and we need it. Okay, so 
Uh, you lot have got to the expedition camp. Oh, we get wood. We found the bodies of the other new Manchester expedition members. Their supplies were completely insufficient for this weather. Uh, that one of them managed to reach our city f uh, from here, beggar's belief. Broken vehicle. Take the resources and go to the broken vehicle. Go. Right, you lot. Um, well, there's nothing. You know what? Go out there in case there's anything more. Yep. And you lot. Oh, more steam, steam, steam course. Pioneer vehicle. This land dreadnought. These things are incredible. Uh, this land dreadnought wasn't designed for this kind of weather. Presumably, it was one. It was part of one of the pioneering expeditions from before the Great Winter. We found some priceless resources here. Three cores, 129 steel, 169 coal. Awesome. Um, so, yeah, we'll get back to base then, because there's nothing else out here, or doesn't look like there's anything else out here. Go back to base. Okay. Um, if you used to, oh my god, they finally started freaking building. Okay, what I'm going to do now is, like, I'm going to let this carry on. And as soon as they finish... Oh. Oh. You know what? Where, where are you from? He's going to refuel. Um, you, you're bound to be coming from probably over here. Uh, okay. I'm going to kick him out of there. Right. And then I'm going to change this out. Oh, what? I can't have... Oh, man. I can't man this with an automaton? Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, well, that sucks. Okay, well, you can, in that case, you can go back to work there. Why can't I put automatons in here? Do I have to research it? Because I certainly could before. Yeah, engineer automatons. Oh, man. What am I researching? Oh, the Kostin coal mine. Yeah. Okay, well. I guess. Keep going. Let's get through the night, I suppose. We're getting close to our limits up here. Um, okay, let's put one for wood and one for steel. Go. How long have we got? We've got 11 days before the storm hits, so we do have, like, I mean, we've got some time. Um, we've got a fair amount of raw food that needs processing. Oh, well. Um, this is set for longer hours. Yes, it is. Right, go. Scouts have reached the broken vehicle. Oh, more course. Suicide mission. This vehicle belonged to members of an expedition from New Manchester. It was clearly too heavy for the ice it rode over. Using it here was pure suicide. Oh my god. That's like... Ugh, that's one of my worst nightmares. Oh, I don't like that at all. Sends a shiver down me. Uh, observation tower and wrecked vehicle. We got one core. So how many cores have you got now? Just the one. Uh, where do we go? Observation tower? Uh, you know what? Let's go to the one nearest the storm first. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Right. Um, so what are we... Re we're doing the steam coal mine. So let's crank that up. Oh, book of laws. Is there anything left? It's like anything left? Um, we don't want to do triage. Because, like, why would we? And there's nothing else to do. House of Pleasure? No. Julian Law? No. No. It's all done. It's all, well, everything that I want to do is done, so... Okay. No more laws, apparently. Um, nine hours, five, six... So let's, uh, let's just crank it up. Do I... I'm going to put in some more... Um, some more building. So what do I want? I want just... Let's put in more of those. Let's... If I put a road going up... How can I put a road going up there? And then around there. 
Once they've built that, then I can get that road out of there. So uh, I just need to connect it up at the top, don't I? So if I take it like up there and then out there, then I can get rid of that bit. Yeah, good plan. Go. Assuming anybody can go and build it. Um, I've got one extra guy. He's in palliative care. I mean, that's fair enough. So it's, uh, yeah, we've, oh, we've got one automaton. Um, what do, do I get that? Well, that automaton can go and build those, can't he? Yeah. Yeah, get out here and build some stuff. Right, steam coal mine researched. Right, let's get some stuff cracking on. So, boom, boom. Um, I'm thinking we're going to end up setting up kilns, maybe. I don't know, maybe. Right, um, so what else do I want to do? Okay, I want to do... Uh, that stuff can wait. I want to do the engineer automatons, don't I? Yes, I bloom and do. Yes. That is what goes next. And then probably integration two and three. Unless there's anything I'm kind of desperate for. Okay. Let's go. We've got two hours, three hours. Okay. Yeah, keep going. Nine freaking cores. Um, let's get, since we've got so many cores, let's get some more bots built. One, two, three. Give me four more bots. Uh, how many spare? I've just got the one spare bot, haven't I? Okay, so I need the engineer automatons done, and then I can put the next bot into here. Okay. Okay, what's. Uh, They've returned to the city. Three more cores, loads more materials. Excellent. Um, so, wh where can you guys go now? Um, oh, observation tower. Yes. Go to the observation tower. Right, you're going to get to the next place in two hours. So, go. And a new automaton has been built. Right, this is the point where... We kick those... Oh, no, it's still not blue in research, is it? Not quite. Okay, keep going. Uh, okay, you guys explore this coal and steel. Travel supplies. As we disassembled the wreck, we found several bags of frozen but usable supplies. Awesome source. And nothing else. So, unless this is going to reveal some stuff... Uh, how long back to the city? It's only nine hours. Just take it back. Um, you're already there. There is, there's definitely nothing more out here. So I tell you what, head out there just in case we find something else. Wowzers. Um, okay, we're just about to do the engineer automatons. Boom, got it. Right. Now, finally, I can kick these blooming engineers out of here and put an automaton on. So now I can build 24-7 if I wish. Okay. We've got... Uh, that's being upgraded. That's being upgraded. Um, we seem to be pretty much okay on steel and wood. What about throwing in another hothouse? You know what? I think this is probably a good place to end the episode. Uh, what I'm thinking about doing next, what well, I was going to do automaton integration, wasn't I? And I? You know what, this is a good place, because I'm going to have a, a little look through and see, like, if I was going to go the charcoal kiln route, then what would I need to do? I, I mean, the smart thing to do would be to go for this first, because that's like 900 coal a day. But we're going to need something else. And it's either coal thumpers or kilns. I don't know. Coal thumpers might be an idea. I could put a coal thumper in with like four workshops. I mean, that would do at least a thousand coal a day. We've got 11 days left. I only need 8,000 coal. So, yeah, maybe bang in a couple of thumpers with... So, that would be f uh, for a, a coal thumper with four... Uh, gathering posts is five uh, five automatons uh, we've got one more core coming back at least 
So, yeah, I mean, we should be able to do this. I'm, I've am got to say, I'm kind of, at this point, yeah, I'd probably say 60, 40, 70, 30, looking on the bright side. All right, guys, we'll leave it there. If you've got comments uh, or tips or anything, let me know. Leave me a comment. I'm always very, very happy to hear from you. I've been spending a lot of time making sure I keep up with all the comments. Um, so thank you very much to everybody who's left me a comment. Uh, feel free to leave me a like. I hope you subscribed. I'll catch you for the next video. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.